Hi folks, today I decided to make a small video on um, nano station local M5 units. Um, I have a little project to do. Uh, I have a two IP cameras that is going to be remotely installed uh, about a half a mile from the house and I needed something to transfer the signal wirelessly from uh, from the entrance gate to the house. I used to use, um, previously I used to use more expensive units, CAMSAT units, but I come across this unit that is um, uh, about 80 euros uh, per unit and seemingly do the same job. So I've decided to make a video how to set up and see how that's gonna work. Uh, this unit is five gigahertz units, but you can also get a 2.4 gigahertz and some different few units. The unit itself is quite nice, neat little unit. Um, on the back there is a, a, a bar, the indication bar, and the lid is pops out on there, and it just slides out. And inside we have a LAN port and reset button. Now, so also with this unit comes a little PoE adapter for the unit. Well, let's set it up and see how this is going to work. So, from the LAN from the LAN input, I'm just going to connect the LAN into into PIE part of the switch, which gives the power for the units. And then the second the second output, which is LAN output, is going to connect directly to the PC. Okay, the PC IP address have to be set to the same range as these units, which are in a range of 192.168.1.20. That's default IP address of the unit. So now, let's log in into the unit. Um, default password is 192.168. That's one to twenty. Okay. Brings into this fourth page, which we is going to the username is U B N T. The password default U B N T. Select your country. In my case I'm in Ireland. And language English. Also we have to agree to the terms. Press login. Now, that's the first page, main page. First of all, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna change a few settings. There's gonna be two units. One is unit that sends the signal, and the second unit that receives the signal. So the very first unit we're gonna just set as the unit that's gonna send the signal, which we make that as an access point in wireless settings, then we enable transparent bridge board, uh, SSID name, we're going to call this um, cross talk, okay, cross talk, and then uh, the change was going to address the security, we change the security to WPA2 and say the, the password cross talk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we're going to press change 
and we have to press apply okay so those changes been changed now other changes that we need to do now when you do the changes it will log out from the page and you have to re re-log okay so the wireless settings are been changed now networks uh, here we uh, changing in network we're going to change the default IP address uh, so if we press if you go in into the IP address say for example this is going to be 50 uh, default gateway and everything stays the same uh, we press change and we press apply Yeah, because we changed the IP address, we have to relog again already into that different IP number 50, which is username UBNT and login. One more change to be changed is password. So, um, the username you can leave the username the same if you want. But the password just changed the password different. UB, UBNT, that's the old password. We changed the new one, UBNT for now, one, two, three, four, five. This is as a sample, again, UBNT, one, two, three, four, five. Press change and press apply. So that's the that's the force unit. That's the unit that's going to send a signal from the cameras to the receiver unit. I was going to change, it's going to get a new unit and we're going to set it up a new unit. Okay, now I've set up, um, I open up the second unit and we have to do the settings uh, for the second receiving unit. So it's again same. Default username UBNT, password UBNT, select your country is Ireland, in my case, English, and agree to the terms. So log in again. Okay. In this page, for the second unit, we're going to only change, first of all, basically in the system tab, we're going to change the password. It's always advisable to change the password. UN, sorry, UBNT, a new one, same again for the sample, UBNT1345, UBNT12345. You can use any password you want, it's up to you have to press change and always press apply if you don't press change or apply uh, the changes wouldn't happen so it's very important to press change and apply now in services when you change the settings it's always you have to reload the page for some reason so we're reloading the page now Okay, services we don't do anything in network. Network, we're changing only IP address. So the first unit that we set up, it was with IP address of 192.168.1.50. We're gonna set up this unit as uh, 51, the last unit. And the rest is stays the same, nothing be changed. So press button change and button apply so applying changes now we have to reload and it's already been changed to the number 51 uh, the IP address 51 not the default 20 so again UBNP password that we change UB N T one two three four five and login 
After that, in wireless mode, we leave that as a station. And then when you press select, the unit starts looking for, that's the frequency that our unit found and it's found our first main receiver which is called crosstalk. So all it's going to do is press select that and lock to the AP. It will ask you for the password. The password that was set for that unit was a cross talk one two three four five and we press change and we press apply so now the first unit I have remotely set up uh, just cross the room for the test purposes and this this unit is the receiver unit is beside the my P laptop so now let's see if it has connection when we press on the main tab menu main menu again now here we have we have perfect connections we have signal strength 47 uh, dBm which is quite good and noise transmitting 100% the speed rate is 300 megabits per second and the quality is at the moment is 99% so we have we established proper connections between receiver and transmitter. What I'm gonna do is I have a camera, IP camera. Okay, which is this one is three megapixel IP camera. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up this camera across the room, connect to the PoE switch and see if we can find this camera via wireless link from the transmitter. So stay with me. Now, first of all, to detect the camera, I used the software called IP IP camera called SADP. So we launched that uh, software. Okay. Now it takes couple couple seconds, couple minutes to see if um, IP camera starts up. So let's refresh it and see if it's if we can pick it up. So let's see. Oh, here we go. We have a camera in. So let's see if we can log into the camera. So when we press onto the camera from that software, it brings you, it opens up internet browser. Default camera name is uh, admin and the password for the default one, two, three, four, five. Press login. It's asking you that your password is weak, so you have to change it. That's fine, we will change it. It brings us to the modification, which we'll do later on. Live preview. Here we go, we have a camera. Wow, that's brilliant. Straightforward, without any hassle. Logged in. I'm gonna go and check this camera. So, here we have. I have it set up on my kitchen. So now, if you can see, everything is done straightforward without any hassle and very, very easy to set up. I found very easy to set up and simply fully operational. So from now on, we was going to test this. We was going to set up this on site and see how reliable is this unit is. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions and I can help with them, you can write down in the comments as i said it's a first time i've set up this unit so i don't know much about them myself but at the same time i was going to uh, play around with a few different settings and see what i can come up with and what what use can i get from this unit as well